Howdy folks, welcome back to Brett in Tech. It seems like since the launch of ChatGPT, the term AI has been everywhere. Lately, I've been playing around with a bunch of AI machine learning tools and wanted to share with you some that I've found to be very beneficial. So coming up, I'll show you 10 AI tools that might be useful for you. And we're starting right now. If you want tutorials for any of these coming up, let me know in the comments. First up is an AI tool from an amazing company called Runway. They have their very own AI creative suite that I predict could become a strong competitor to Adobe in the not too distant future. Adobe, you've been warned. The most impressive of their tools from the research labs is a multi-model AI system that can take any image, video, text, and turn it into a brand new video. What they call Gen 2 has just been released, and it blew my mind more so than anything released from OpenAI, Microsoft, and Google so far. Their text-to-video feature is light years better than anything else. You just put in your text, and it amazingly creates a video based on the text you enter. You've got to try this out. As many of you know, for developers, creating and making AI tools available is not cheap. Thankfully, Runway does have a free basic plan, but you're limited to 720p HD on any video exports. For additional features, including exports of your videos up to 4K, they have plans that start at $12 per month. Mixo is an AI website creator that's great for those of you wanting to create a website but don't have any coding or design experience. It's a lot more advanced than Squarespace, Wix, and the other website builders. How it works is that you give a brief description of the idea that you have, and using AI, it'll build you an entire website that looks great on both desktop and mobile. Additional features include a free SSL certificate for your site, access to their stock photo library, the ability to embed video from YouTube and Vimeo, and you get unlimited storage for your site's content. Mixo does have a free plan with limitations. You can't use a custom domain, and the web pages will have the Mixo branding. To remove their branding and use a custom domain, along with additional features, they have plans that start at $9 per month. Wizdolia is a cool Chrome extension that can be used with any Chromium browser that will automatically create flashcards anywhere on the web using OpenAI's GPT-3. This is great for students, teachers, or anybody else doing research needing help soaking in knowledge. Here's how it works. On any website, click the Wizdolia icon to the right of the address bar. It'll create flashcards based on the information on that site. They'll show you both the questions and the answers to see if you're correct. After the flashcards have been generated, you can save them to Anki, which is a free and open source flashcards deck tool. This will be a quick one. Next up from the folks at DID is their chat AI product called Chat DID. I'm still torn whether this one is really cool or just downright creepy. This free web app lets you talk face to face with Chat GPT using real time face animation. Without having to use your keyboard, you speak to it using your voice, and the avatar responds. Hopefully this app doesn't get misused by lonely people. I guess time will tell. NVIDIA, the well-known graphics card maker, has a new AI tool in beta called Canvas. Selecting from a palette of materials you would find in real life, its AI turns your painted works into realistic-looking landscapes. Once completed, you can import your creations into programs like Adobe Photoshop, Blender, and NVIDIA Omniverse USD Composer. At this time, Canvas is only available for Windows 10 or newer and only works with selected NVIDIA RTX GPUs. Microsoft recently made the announcement that they're bringing next-generation AI large learning models to their suite of Microsoft 365 apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and others. They're calling it Microsoft 365 Copilot. It's not officially available yet, but it's currently in testing with select customers and should be rolling out to all users in the summer of this year. SoundRaw is an AI music generator to help create royalty-free music for content creators. It's intended for those needing background music for YouTube, podcasts, social media, or anything else. It's simple to use. You select your genre, length, and tempo to customize it how you want it. They do have a free plan, but to use any of your music creations in any commercial projects, they have plans that start at $16.99 per month. Kyber is a video generation AI tool that's been gaining in popularity lately. It lets you upload your own image or a song, 
That could be a selfie, your dog or cat, a landscape, or music you created, and using text with its AI generation engine will create a video for you. So far, it's been used to create videos for popular music artists Kid Cudi and Linkin Park. To take Kyber for a test drive, they do have a free plan that will place their watermark on your videos. To remove their watermark, their pro plan is $10 per month. This will be another quick one that at this time is only available for Mac OS. Rewind records anything you've seen, said, or heard while using your Mac and makes it searchable using AI technology from OpenAI. All recordings are stored locally on your Mac, not in the cloud, so you're the only one that has access to them. And you can exclude certain programs from recording, including while using the private modes on the Chrome and Safari web browsers. Rewind is free for up to 50 total rewinds, after which pricing starts at $10 per month. Here's one that's in the early stages that requires you get on a wait list. And at this time, it's still free. Versi is a generative AI solution to create virtual experiences. Based on the text you enter, it'll create a virtual environment, reducing the cost associated with the manual creation of virtual spaces. It allows you to create interactive experiences of any kind from product development and events to escape rooms, treasure hunts, or anything else that you can think of. Here's a bonus one for you all. Going way back to the year 2021, Deep Nostalgia was one of the first AI tools to go viral. Released on the popular genealogy platform MyHeritage, Deep Nostalgia uses an AI technique called deep learning to animate faces in photos uploaded to their platform. At this time, more than 100 million photos have been animated using this feature. Earlier in this video, I mentioned a company called DID, the creators of Chat DID. MyHeritage licensed this new technology from them to release Deep Nostalgia. There's an upload limit of five photos on the free plan. For additional features, including unlimited photo uploads, MyHeritage plans start at $129 per year. Thanks for watching. Links to the AI tools mentioned are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What are your favorite AI tools? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest AI tools and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.